They came from all over to celebrate everyone's favorite neighbor. Filling the Fred Rogers Studio at WQED, a space where the iconic television show was filmed. Fred Rogers would have turned 90 this year, a milestone that came with one of the greatest honors of all, a U.S. postage stamp. The stamp features Mr. Rogers as the world remembers him, wearing a cardigan sweater and holding the King Friday puppet. The Postal Service issues just a few new stamps each year. This one has been in the works for a while. You know, it is a huge honor, and of course, this is the best of America. The image on the stamp was the work of photographer Walter Sang, who snapped it in the mid-1990s. He didn't like to have his picture taken. Fred said, Walt, you're the only photographer I give myself to. It is appropriate that Fred Rogers would be honored in this way. He was known to respond to viewer letters, which arrived in the mail every month by the thousands. He thought that the letters the children sent in, the family sent in, was the most important connection. That's David Newell, known to viewers as mailman Mr. McFeely. He was there for the event with his son, who happens to be a mailman. And now I get to deliver the stamps. And this is my son, Alex. Among the crowd was the Rogers family, including his widow, Joanne. She was surrounded by well-wishers, among them the young children who watch Mr. Rogers in reruns. I watch Mr. Rogers sometimes, and I was really excited. And adults who remember what Mr. Rogers meant to them when they were children. I grew up with Mr. Rogers, so I personally was excited to be here. It was really special. It was here, in this studio, where Fred Rogers did his magic. Now, five decades later, his good work lives on in this special reminder, a 50-cent stamp that lasts forever, a small, everyday image of a remarkable man. Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you be my neighbor.